Hello English 102 students, this is your professor Michael Bloomingberg. I hope the first week of the semester treated you well and I want to take this time to welcome you to week two and um, so the purpose of this video is just to show you where you can find your week two coursework and to make sure that everything is clear with respect to what you're being asked to do. So I am on Blackboard and what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on course content and you will see that the week two folder is now available. And so with that in mind, I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on that. And the best thing to note here is that everything in your coursework folder is uh, sort of listed from top to bottom in the order that you want to work in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the week two coursework. Please note that your coursework folder always lets you know what the assignments are for that particular week. Now it is set up as a Word document and a PDF. They are the exact same course worksheet, so it doesn't matter which one you choose to open. I'm going to go ahead and open the PDF for the sake of time. We'll take just a couple minutes to go over it together. So um, this is quite a jump from last week where you spent some time introducing yourself and responding to the syllabus. So please pace yourself as we go through uh, the work this week. So the first thing is uh, you want to always start with the readings. And the first reading is writing an argument, which is uh, the PDF document. And this will help you understand what argumentative uh, academic writing is all about. So take some time to read that. I might also encourage you to take some notes on that as you go to, just as I would encourage you to annotate and take notes over all of the readings. Um, there is an English 102 class theme. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, by theme, it just means that this is the philosophy behind the class and the reason why I have you do the things that, that I'm asking you to do. And then Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince. Now, uh, I have been very blessed to have copyright permission to use this book as it is an open resource. But you're not reading the whole book but you're only reading the assigned chapters, so we'll take a look at that. And the lecture video here, of course, you're having the chance to look at, so I don't need to talk about that. Now, beyond the readings and taking notes, you will need to complete uh, quiz number one. Uh, we don't have a quiz every week, but we will have quizzes from time to time. And so this is your first quiz of the semester. Please note that you're given 15 minutes to complete what is uh, five multiple choice questions and an additional bonus question. Uh, the bonus question does not count against your quiz score, so you might also want to note that. There is a discussion board assignment uh, related to argumentative writing and your reading of Machiavelli's The Prince. Um, it's really concerning all the readings for this week, so you want to take some time. I meant to add in the readings too, I added some notes for um, Aristotle, since he is sort of the... Um, the father of, of persuasive academic writing, so uh, please take a look at the, that information as well. Please note that the quiz and the uh, discussion board assignment are due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So now that you know what the coursework looks like for the week, uh, the first place to start is by taking a look at the class theme, and it is available to you as both a Word document and a PDF. I'll just pull it up as a PDF. Our theme comes from a gentleman by the name of Ben Carson. And uh, you can see a picture of uh, Carson there who uh, says, quote, illogical thinkers throw names and slurs around because they have no arguments with which to rebuke their opponents. Rational people have to keep hammering home their points. And I like this as our class theme because it really gets at the heart of what persuasive academic argumentative writing is all about. It's not about throwing names or slurs because you disagree with someone. It's about having rational points, evidence of support. So I hope you'll take that theme to heart. Uh, next is the PDF for writing an argument. I'm just going to pull that up as we can take a look. I really like this handout because it gives you all facets of argumentative writing from the viewpoint of the writer, from the viewpoint of the audience. Opposition, we refer to that as counter argument and argumentative writing, but take a look at that. Uh, it's very important to acknowledge the opposing viewpoint. Um, writing as far as introduction. 
paragraphing organization and conclusion. And the last part of the PDF is really critical because it's reading and it just uh, gives you a list of some very common logical fallacies. Please study those carefully so that you understand what they are and why it's important to have sound logical reasoning within your writing so that you're avoiding these 15 listed fallacies. Do look at them carefully though. All right, next you'll see that there is Aristotle's modes of persuasion. And again, that's as a Word document and a PDF. And you'll learn a little bit of information in the handout about Aristotle. I've put a picture there for you to see as well. Greek philosopher and scientist, um, studied under Plato and Plato's Academy. Um, and in 338, this of course, if you look at the years, this is all BC. He began tutoring Alexander the Great, so he's one of the great uh, minds of ancient history. And he developed the modes of persuasion that we'll be working with in large part throughout the semester called Logos, which pertains to using reason and logic. Ethos, which is uh, for the uh, rhetorical argument of establishing the credibility of the speaker. And Pathos, that's emotional appeal of the writer. So make sure you look at that information carefully. I think you'll find it helpful. And I know this is a lot to digest this week. Niccolo Machiavelli is the prince. Please note that you're reading chapters 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That sounds like a lot of reading, but it's really not. Um, each of these chapters are fairly short. Uh, one chapter is a little bit longer than the rest, but they're not very long chapters. Uh, please take notes uh, as you go as well. And again, I want to acknowledge the Prince book free for allowing this download opportunity and all is used with expressed copyright given. And so what you'll find is the book is presented to you as both a Word document and a PDF. Um, I'm just going to click on the PDF and you'll see the copyright information is given. And then you're just going to scroll down and you just note your Roman numerals. Chapter 15 is where the reading begins and it's on page 38. Concerning things for which men and especially princes are praised and blamed. All the way down to um, the last chapter 19 that one should avoid being despised and hated. So basically you're looking at pages 38 um, through really around page 50 or so. And so read that carefully. Um, we'll probably uh, continue our discussion of it on the discussion board. I'll be interested in getting your thoughts about uh, Machiavelli's argument and making sure you understand that. I have given you notes as well, and again, that's both as a PDF and a Word document. Just feel free to open up those notes. Um, you'll see Machiavelli lived quite a bit later than Aristotle, 1469 to 1527. He's an Italian diplomat, politician, historian. He's often uh, associated with the term Machiavellian, which uh, refers to um, how Machiavelli says that a prince should have total power and use duplicity and deceit when necessary to attain power and maintain it. And can you find logos, ethos, and or pathos in these chapters? And I've just given you some direction and some challenge questions for you to answer and just kind of the main ideas of each chapter as you go. The conduct of the prince in chapter 15. Generosity or what how it may or may not be necessary to the prince in 16. Cruelty in 17. Should a prince keep his word in chapter 18? And uh, the prince being despised or hated in chapter 19. So take a look at the notes. I think you'll find it helpful. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Quiz. Um, I'm not going to actually open it up, but you'll just click it and then click begin when you're ready. Do not click begin until you have studied and you're absolutely ready to go because it is a 15-minute timer. 
The test will save and submit automatically when your time expires, so be careful. You only have one attempt at the quiz, and the questions can range from any of the readings, so make sure you look closely at Aristotle's reading, look closely at the argument reading, and of course uh, the prints as well. And you also want to take, pay close attention to our class theme. Basically review everything before you take the quiz. Be careful. One attempt at the quiz. I've put a link for the Purdue Owl. If you click the link, it'll take you in for MLA formatting style guide documenting. Um, my hope is that uh, you had the opportunity to see a little bit about MLA in English 101. If not, this kind of walks you through it. But the big thing to note um, when you're reviewing for the purpose of the discussion assignment is uh, MLA for uh, books. Well, that's work cited. Let me go back. Um, the basic uh, introduction here for the overview and style guide. And it will, well, that's the link for just setting it up, I guess. But in-text citation, I'll get there eventually. The basics, just look at that in particular for in-text citation because you'll have to, you may need to do some of that with your discussion board assignment. And that's the last thing. When you click on the discussion board, you will see this week's discussion assignment. So it says this week's discussion assignment relates to the readings and argumentative writing in the prints. Once you've completed both readings, please respond to the following. First thing, in your own words, what is argumentative writing? Uh, one sentence minimum. I'm not looking for a big, long paragraph. Just try to simplify it in your own words to write about what you feel academic writing, uh, argumentative writing is all about. How do you see yourself working with argumentative writing in English 102? You can discuss if you used argumentative writing in other classes as well. Uh, for example, English 101. Second thing, in the assigned chapters from Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince, list three specific arguments that Machiavelli makes. Draw specific support from the chapters. Again, be specific. If you use a quote, make sure you use MLA documentation for in-text citations when citing your three arguments, especially, again, when using quotes. Remember that in addition to creating your own posting that will be at least 100 words, I don't think you'll have a problem reaching that requirement when you answer both of these parts for this week. But remember that you're giving a reply to either myself or a classmate as well that, again, is at least 100 words. Note your due date is Sunday by 11.59. And note, too, that you'll have to answer these questions in your first posting and post that before you'll be able to see what other people have posted. So post your response first, and you should be able to see what uh, else has been posted in the discussion forum. Check back through the week and uh, make sure, again, you get your reply and you can split up your replies to include more than one person as long as you're reaching at least your 100 word count. All right. Um, I think that's it. So again, course content week two, work down the line and uh, take notes over the reading. Study, study, study before you take your quiz. Remember, there's only one attempt. And as always, if you have questions, you are encouraged to uh, send me an email. But that's it. Hopefully this week's makes sense. We'll start looking at the first essay assignment next week, and uh, I'll make a follow-up video for that as well. Thanks very much. Email me if you have questions, and good luck as you work through week two.